I'm Ryan Levinson, and this video shares some tricks and tips for how I rig and launch my kite from my boat. I recommend working with an instructor if you want to try this stuff, but you're not yet experienced enough to evaluate the risk and decide for yourself if it's safe for your skill and situation. Okay, let's break this down into three steps. Preparing your lines, rigging the kite, then launching the kite. Sorting your lines is the step that seems to baffle the most people. Some of my friends like to lay out their lines on boats by twisting around anywhere there is available space, kind of like a spider spinning a web. That will work, but there's much easier technique that looks a lot less dorky. The trick is to flake your lines as you unwind them from the bar. Flaking the line is a sailing term that means laying down the line so they form long lengths that zigzag back and forth as you pile them. Flaking the line helps prevent it from tangling. Next, you wind the line back onto your bar separating the lines from each other as you go, just like you would on the beach. It's easier to have a friend help you with this, but it's not that hard to do it yourself if you have to. Make sure you leave enough line unwrapped from the bar so that you can rig the kite without tugging the bar. Then sort the lines all the way to the very end and lay them down carefully or attach them to something so they don't get twisted up. I usually just tie them to the lifelines on the boat. Okay, now you're ready to rig the kite. Inflating the kite is easy. Just make sure the leading edge is secured to something just like you would on land. Flop the kite in the water and inflate it. But be careful to avoid getting any water into the valves. Attaching the lines is a bit tricky, so pay close attention to what you're doing. There are two key things to remember. First, make sure you attach the lines in an order that prevents them from crossing each other. Second, make sure you keep the attached lines between the wingtips and on the bladder side of the canopy. Other than that, you just attach the lines like you would normally. The final step is launching the kite. This is basically just a regular self-launch from the water. Put the kite in the water with the leading edge down and facing upwind, making sure that all the lines are between the wingtips. Let the kite drift away while you unwind the lines, but keep one of the front lines tighter than the rest so the kite will remain safely depowered and with the leading edge upwind. By far, the most dangerous factor in all of this are the lines. Be super careful that you never place any body parts in a position where they will get damaged if the kite were to suddenly power up. I recommend getting a rope and securing one end to the boat, and then the other end would have a carabiner that you can click to the harness loop on your bar. For extra safety, you can connect a separate carabiner to the leash connection on the kite so it can flag if you decide to release it. So that's it. Have fun, be safe, respect each other, and stay tuned for an upcoming video showing how to retrieve the kite when you're done.